we have new data since 2000, uh, 2023 is when they started publishing these case studies, or maybe 2022. Leonard Hardell, who is um, uh, an epidemiologist, an oncologist, and a very, uh, very prestigious scientist in Sweden, Hardell, along with journalist Mona Nilsson, published five case studies of people who got sick after 5G towers were installed. And what they're trying to do is simply, you know, have scientifically valid case studies where people were well before you install a 5G tower and they're unwell. And we're talking about a rapid decrease in their health. And I don't want to alarm you guys, but this is what the science says at the moment. And th these are the only case studies published worldwide around 5G. Can you believe it? You know, this is a technology that now is exposing hundreds of millions of individuals already, uh, if not more. And in the future is going to be, you know, every city and they're trying to roll out 5G and their satellites and whatnot. And yet we have seven case studies or actually there's a there's an eighth one that have been done in the last two years in the world, peer reviewed um, in peer reviewed publications around its possible effect. So it's crazy to me. But of course, what we see in the symptoms in the studies are insomnia, fatigue, poor concentration, headaches, <clears throat> sorry, irritability, tinnitus, dizziness, depression, nosebleeds, joint pain, skin burning. And they say, you know, they don't claim that all these symptoms are due to the cell towers, but they say that many of these symptoms were not as pronounced before the installation of 5G. And then all of a sudden, people people's health rapidly deteriorate. And to me, this is extremely plausible. If you only... Imagine if you have a 5G tower that's being installed and you have this intense signal. It was measured at over 2.5 million microwatts per square meter. What does it mean? Well, imagine strapping cell phones all over your body 24-7. And then the cell phones are downloading at maximum speed with the, the most exposure possible from a phone. That's almost what this means. So these are intensities that are extremely extremely intense even though they are below the regulatory threshold so of course these are technically legal but our safety limits are completely inappropriate to to protect the public and that's the idea so you have people that within two to three weeks their health rapidly deteriorates Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, Pino. I am the co-creator of the EMF Circle, along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video, is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our Circle members. Every month, we have a masterclass like one of these or a Q&A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is pre -record is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a Cars master class. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, uh, also that we did, and we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit emfcircle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you then.